The World Robot Conference 2023, which was held in Beijing, was the biggest one ever. There were more than 160 businesses, 45,000 square meters, and more than 600 robots. About 60 of the robots were shown to the public for the first time. Also, after limits against cowboys were lifted, more than 300 experts from around the world came to Beijing. What our film team liked most about the exhibition was how many different kinds of humanoids and bionic robots there were. As expected, these were the exhibition's big draws. First things first, though. Shin Gobin says that China has sold more robots than any other country in the world for 10 years in a row. China is responsible for more than half of all robot sales in the world. China already has 392 industrial robots for every 10,000 people who work there. This is also a very, very good sign. EX Robots When the expedition's first guests arrive, they are met by robots that read works by famous Chinese poets Li Bo and Du Fu. Every year at the show, these kinds of performances are put on by the Dalian company X Robots, which does research on intelligent humanoids and makes bionic robots that look very much like real people. People were very interested in the bartender robot, which looks exactly like an actual employee of the business. The robot moved very smoothly and his expressions were always changing. It turned out that his double is already working in one of Kun Ming's bars. The company X Robots brought a robot that was dancing the thousand guan yin to show how well the joints they made work. It's still a long way from being as elegant as the original, but the robot's movements are very smooth and well-coordinated, which is amazing. The people who made this think that it can be improved and used to make artificial hands the business is already seriously considering making mirror images of everyone in robot form. The way this robot looks is based on one of our coworkers. We built the robot so that it can copy the look on his face. We've basically made a robot copy of ourselves. For instance, I can use robots instead of myself if I want to do a lot of things. As an example, I'm a teacher and I'm going to give a speech. The robot can be put in different classes so that all of the students can see me while I teach. The company is currently working on getting robots able to perceive things the same way humans can, being able to see, hear, touch, and smell. According to people who used to work with robots, robots will definitely be able to understand and react to their surroundings in the future. Unitary Robotics Last year, a group dance of 130 robots put on by Wang Chao based Unitry Robotics made people very happy at the show. The Unitry H1 humanoid robot is a brand new product that became popular this year. It is the best robot dog and is pretty easy for most people to get. They say they only spent six months making the H1 robot because they used methods that had already been tested on robot dogs. The business thinks that their humanoid robot will start a new era in industry. The main specs are that it is about 50 kilograms heavy, almost 180 centimeters tall, has a maximum joint force of 360 newton meters, a 3D LiDAR plus depth camera, can walk faster than 1.5 meters per second, and can run. The company says that the robot could be used in more areas of both the industry and service sectors with the help of the flexible AI. Our new H1 humanoid robot was just shown off, and we plan to use it in business in 3 to 10 years. We want to help make factories work better. The go-to from Unitree will be the least expensive robot dog on the market. It costs as little as 1,000. 601. 4D LiDAR is built into even the most basic robot, which makes GoTo's detection system 200% better than the last one. GoTo also offers a fresh way for people and robots to engage by combining voice control with a range of movements and functions. The new, stronger battery in GoTo has a 150% longer life than the cell in Go1. The new joints, which can handle up to 45M of force, work 30% better than the old ones. GoTo has a lot of tools that can be used to have fun at home. The first thing is that our robot has GPT, which lets us talk to it. 
Yo2O also has a strong battery that lets it work for two hours without needing to be charged. GOTO can scan any area thanks to the 4D LiDAR. Because the GOTO is meant for a lot of different people, it has a pretty low price, and you can already place an order for one. There will be a link to it in the movie description. We put a lot of importance on system safety, and the 4D LiDAR helps it stay away from children and other people to avoid risks. The battery in GOTO makes it weigh about 15 kilograms, and it can carry up to 10 kilograms. The robot has a front camera with a 1280 x 720 resolution and an ultra-wide viewing range. It also has speakers and a lamp. Another robot dog the company showed off was the B1 Industrial Robot Dog. It weighs 50 kilograms and can carry up to 80 kilograms. Dream. Dream's animated barista robot dressed like a person helped serve people at the show. The people who worked on it say that a humanoid robot as a barista is much more impressive than the robotic arms that can do the same thing, which are becoming more popular at events. The humanoid robot can not only make a pumpkin raff or a coconut latte, but it can also talk to people. Its work is unclear in many ways, such as where it is in space and how it will move, which calls for more intelligence. It stands 178 centimeters tall and weighs 56 kilograms. The robotic bartender can move in 44 different ways. A high specific power motor, a depth camera, an advanced control system, and many sensors are built into it. It can also make 3D models of the room. Dream also makes robots that bring food for businesses, clean pools, and act like dogs. For instance, the Dream Dog, which was a big hit with the kids who came to the show. This kind of dog costs 50 to 60,000 yuan, which is about seven to $8,000. It can work for an hour without needing to be charged. The dog is meant to behave like a pet. When you stroke it, it moves and plays music. It can also bark, bow, give a hand, stomp, and spin around on the spot. Dream Dog also has an emotion system built in that can understand orders and gestures, pick up on movements, and help you learn. Concerning the humanoids, the business thinks that people will start to see them in their homes in 10 years. The state of the robotics business in China can be seen in how popular WRC is this year. As Deputy Minister of Industry and Information Technology for the People's Republic of China, Xin Gobin told the gathering that the company made more than 23.5 million yuan in 2022 to 440 000 pieces. The number of industrial robots made increased by more than 20%. Cold Mines Technologies this year, the company showed a dance show with its Cloud Ginger XR1 line of service robots, which have already been successful on the market. It also showed off its newest creation, the Purple Humanoid Robot. The robot has a combined robot GPT model and new flexible joint technology. It runs on the Herix OS operating system. The robot is 165 centimeters tall and weighs 65 kilograms. It is made of hybrid materials that are both light and strong. That's our purple humanoid robot that walks on two legs. We'd like it to come into our homes one day and do chores and care for the elderly. Also, we'd like to see these robots take the place of assembly workers in plants. The robot will be officially released in 2024 and it will start being made in large numbers in 2025. It's very important that these robots are safe because they will be working with people so that no damage is done and no one gets hurt. The robot's drive has bendable sensors that gather data about people and things around it. Fourier Intelligence. The GR1 from Fourier Intelligence was another humanoid robot that was being shown. The robot is 165 centimeters tall and weighs 55 kilograms. It can move at a top speed of 5 kilometers per hour and copy many human actions. It can move in 44 different ways and hold up to 5 kilograms in one hand. The battery is meant to last for 45 minutes before it needs to be charged again. The robot is made to be used in many situations, such as for study and education, 
to help with rehabilitation and inspections, and to take part in shows and performances. Within a year or two, the business plans to start making and shipping a lot of humanoid robots. Manufacturers and people at the conference both agree that it is too early to talk about making a lot of humanoid robots at this point. Mostly, they're still in the study, development, testing, and making better stage. They're also too expensive to make and too expensive for most people to buy. Ubitech, to make the people who came to the exhibition happy, Ubitech set up some of the coolest and most entertaining things at their booth. The Walker X robot rode around the stage on a platform that looked like a Segway, and the robot panda shook hands, opened the fridge, and took selfies with a crowd of fans. Walker X is 130 centimeters tall and weighs 63 kilograms. It can walk at a top speed of 3 kilometers per hour, climb stairs, balance on one leg, give. Xiaomi. Xiaomi showed off their Cyberdog 2 robot dogman, which is only 8.9 kilograms heavy and has a Cyber Gear micromotor that was made just for it. Engineers say Cyberdog 2 can do more complicated tasks because it can move around more easily. One thing it can do is do several backflips in a row. It can also get back up after falling and run at 1.6 meters per second. Cyberdog 2 is interesting because it has many sensors, including 19 sets of sound, touch, and vision sensors that work together to make decisions. There is also an RGB camera, an AI camera, a depth camera, LiDAR, an acoustic sensor, and a force sensor on the robot. All of these help the robot better understand its surroundings and pick up on and understand the wearer's voice, body language, and facial emotions. That's all for today's video. I hope you found our video interesting and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.